manage their projects where uh, all the team team members will host their project in the bit bucket and uh, they will update their project day to day basis and at the last i have included nad because uh, i have worked with the nad people why i included nad is initially the nad concept was only to store the academic records but in the recent development uh, the government of kannada and government of india has made nad so that once you complete your graduation or something if you want to join any company or if you want to share your document any verifier who wants to verify you can easily share your academic records with them so nad will also become a repository where you will uh, your data will be stored structurally and you can show, sh- share it with anyone whomever you want so these are the uh, few example uh, for repositories which we encounter day day to day basis so after giving example i will move on to uh, definition of the uh, repository uh, the basic uh, definition of repository is a central location in which data will be stored and managed uh, here i have mentioned the storing uh, storing and managing uh, as we all know we all require data uh, storage and uh, managing the data because uh, like uh, if we manage our data properly it will be easy for us to take the data whenever we require uh, if we don't manage it sometimes we will miss out and we will not be able to find the proper data uh, that's why managing uh, data plays a very important role and in repository uh, as we can see in the picture uh, the key features are managing capturing and maintaining catalog uh, like a finding or view means uh, like we, we have to uh, retrieve any data uh, easily quickly uh, for example if you want uh, some uh, data which is related to some particular uh, topic we we must be able to find it easily because when we host any de- repository it will have huge number of data and user has to get the data quickly so that we need to have good find and view uh, option also and since uh, synthesize research this uh, this is also a important feature for any repository where uh, verification will be done uh, statistical report will be shown insight will be given comment or feedback will be accepted these are all the basic feature of repository so and overall we can say that uh, uh, a repository is a place where we will store our uh, store and manage our data systematically um uh, well, we will jump on to next topic that is poc uh poc is a evidence for your idea for example you have an idea uh, which you want to uh, work or which you want to implement in a large scale uh when you want to implement it in a large scale you will require some amount of money time resources uh, for for which investors are required or when it comes to an organization level or university level uh POC is required to prove your idea so that uh, the investors or the uh, verifiers who wants to test your idea uh, so so that uh, they will agree that uh, your idea will work in the real time so for example uh, uh, assume we we are building a, a heart attack de- uh, detection model where uh, it will be implemented in a mobile application and uh, a large amount of user will be using it when when we try to uh, implement it in large scale first thing is we we need to have good team to work on it so that uh, more number of users will be using it second thing it will require uh, basic features like user management statistics uh, 
uh, user registration, all these things. And also security is the main key feature. So these things, uh, to achieve these things, we will require some amount of investment. And the core feature is detecting heart attack. So when we are implementing it in large scale, uh, when user investor comes to us, we need to prove that our idea will work. For that, we will build a model which will only detect heart attack. Uh, and uh, we will neglect or we will we are least bothered about this login, registration, uh, user management, all those things. So uh, in the POC, we will build only the model which will detect heart attack. And if it is proven, we will be able to uh, develop in large scale. If it is uh, having some bugs or uh, some insights from the investors or the seniors, or if some if you get some feedback, you can uh, improve your idea and you can uh, develop your design. So overall, uh, POC will reduce the risk of failures in large scale. Uh, as I told, if we get uh, uh, feedback from the users or the seniors or the any other developers, uh, uh, we can correct that bug and we can uh, develop uh, start developing our project. And uh, uh, at the end of POC, we will end up with a proto prototype. Uh, it can be when it comes to hardware field, it will be a simple model. When it comes to software, a piece of code which will which will be the core feature of our project. And uh, uh, this POC has to be stored. Uh, in today's discussion, uh, the topic is design developing in repositories to store POCs and way forward. Uh, so in current a mechanism uh, when we when a student or a, when a researcher develops any POC that piece of code will be stored in the uh, uh, local devices in their computer or in their team's computer yeah, especially at the max it will be moved to Google Drive or GitHub to store it uh, safely uh, if it is moved to Google Drive that there also there will be limited access where uh, like uh, when the people only who gets the link or the uh, access to get the code will download that particular code and they will check whether this particular POC works or model works or works or not. But the problem here is they can't give any feedback to the user or the uh, developer who, who have developed it. And uh, uh, GitHub is the most proven uh, space where uh, everyone will upload their projects or POCs, uh, which will which can be downloaded uh, by any of other uh, researchers or the person who are interested. And there uh, they can uh, comment on it or they can give, give feedback or even they can uh, improve that project and re-upload in the GitHub. Uh, so, uh, we have local devices, Google Drive, GitHub. Local devices, we will have least amount of uh, features where you will be able to share with uh, a limited number of person. Google Drive, universities, we will, if we don't have any repositories, we will not, we will not be able to know what kind of uh, uh, ideas other people have implemented and where they are. And uh, the next problem, if we don't have a repository, is we will not be able to collaborate and work. Uh, for example, if you have developed an idea and if you host it in your uh, repository, others can pull that uh, complete idea and they can check how it works. And if they are expert in that uh, particular field, they will give some feedback and they can improve that idea and they can again upload it uh, to the repository so that you will also be able to download it and you can work on it. So this type of, this type of collaborative work will not happen if, if we don't have repository. And these are the most includes uh, like in that team, you may have to uh, develop log, uh, user management uh, 
sorry, user management modules, uh, content management modules, and security modules, and import and export modules. All these things will come in uh, repository service. And if you start building it now, it will take months together, and it will take lots of not. Uh, it will consume lots of your energy and money. When you make it open source, uh, for example, you, we are hosting a, uh, we are starting a repository service in ACU, uh, which will be hosted in ACU portal. Uh, 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 modify the code and. For sure, they will charge uh, for each and every modification. So it's up to you uh, to. So no, uh, they will name it and they will upload it. Other people has to uh, the content at a time and all kind of problem solving methods where uh, data structure and algorithms will come into picture. Uh, create and other comments, but when we develop a repository to store our design requirements and security option, uh, as we mentioned, uh, uh, we should be able to uh, give security features and uh, we need to define who can access our data or who, who, who has to just view our data, who can edit our data, or who can download our data. These things will be uh, enabled with the security options uh, where you will define who can access, who can update, who can uh, modify your data. Firebase, you can do it. Angular and mobile access, uh, which current repositories lags. Uh, and uh, uh, give your ideas and it will be stored in Yes, ma'am, yes, ma I'm doing that thing. Hello, Karthi. Yes, ma'am, good morning, ma'am. Hello. Hello. I am audible or not? Karthik, your voice is not audible, pa. Ma'am, now is it audible, ma'am? Ah, now it is okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, uh, Karthik. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, if I want to make a repository, because now the final year students uh, are doing project. Yes, first batch of uh, ACU. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, if I'm go going to work on this repository, means initial cost, how, uh, how, how much it requires, and initial the resources, what we require. Ma'am, uh, cost in terms of cost when uh, is only for hosting Hello. the server. Hello, I'm an audible, ma'am. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Well, cost comes when you when we wash the service. Uh, like there are two uh, factors which which will require cost. One is hosting service, and another one is security service. Uh, when we host uh, our uh, uh, application in our own server, uh, we should uh, we should pay for internet and we we should pay for hardware. And if we host it in AWS or GCP, it depends on the uh, uh, G packages which we choose. Like uh, GCP provides pay as you go, and AWS also has some good uh, a good feature which will require around uh, 500 uh, rupees per month. Uh, if if we have large number of, large number of users, even I would pay we can uh, complete when you cannot share not be there the hod dr siddharth bk sir and he is also is one of the motivator for all these things my dear uh, colleagues and uh, the students thanks for the attending uh, this session and karthik lastly thank you so much for this thank nice you. session thank you thank you, thank you all ma'am ma'am thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am